Hello, everybody. It's Linus, and welcome to Linus Minutes. I hope everybody has a have- anion product. Um, a product negative ions come from lightning strike, and um, gonna- and it's really because I have a three-part uh, framework or process called exploration. Some quick tips, tools, and techniques that are going to aid you uh, in midlife. another midlife hack you might want to consider uh, when it comes to improving your overall health. And that is to um, keep your phone far away, far away from your phone. Keep your phone far away from your phone. That's wrong. Keep your phone far away from you, (laughs) especially when you're charging your phone. Okay. Uh, There have been studies that show that phones uh, emit waves that aren't good for us especially after 40. So if you can put your phone far away from your bed at night, uh, it can help a lot because the chances of breast and prostate cancer skyrocket for men and women who sleep with the phone because of the effects of the blue light. This is something that they're just discovering in terms of things that you need to be doing or changing with your health or in your life as you approach midlife. And this is a big one. Put your phone, if if you're concerned about being able to hear the phone, here's another hack for you. You put the phone like maybe in your guest, in your master bathroom or something that's still far away from your bed. And then you put the phone inside of a glass, okay, that it can fit in. And when it goes off, it makes that sound that much lighter. So if you have an important emergency phone call, turn the volume up, you know, take it off the side of the mode, put it inside the glass, and you can hear it even more so. So there you go. But the main thing is do not sleep with it right next to your bed. Now, here's one you think you should know, but still maybe is not high on your priority list. But there's been new studies that have, been, that have come up about the need for us to wash our sheets more often. Because as we get older, our immune system weakens. And there's no sense in exposing ourselves to unnecessary germs, especially since we're living in the middle of a pandemic. Uh, therefore, there's all kinds of different ways that you can Um, you know, keep your area clean in your room. But one way is to make sure that you um, wash your sheets probably at least once a week uh, or so and change them once a week. There are about 3 million bacteria that are on your sheets by the end of one week. So something to think about and something you may want to do in terms of changing what you normally do. And, you know, I think it's really important that even though it's cold, And we're all huddling in because of inclement weather. Let some fresh air in from time to time. What I like to do first thing in the morning, it's already cold. But what I like to do is to go into my living room area. I have these um, floor ceiling windows. And I open the windows for just a few moments. There's no one else up. My husband's not up, so he's not feeling cold. I'm still, I'm already cold already, so a little bit of extra cold doesn't matter. Uh, and so that just puts fresh air in and hopefully fresh air out. I leave it like that for about 15 or, 15, 15 or 20 minutes while I am, uh, you know, washing, uh, not washing, but preparing my coffee or doing whatever it is. Uh, that I need to do so that I let some fresh air in. I think it's so important that we do that. You know, many times as we begin to head towards 40, we start noticing and seeing some things that are beginning to change. And then after 40, after 50, after 60, there are things that begin to change. But there's always an answer. You don't have to suffer. You don't have to live in ignorance or in fear of change. Midlife Hacks is all about you know, expanding your horizon and finding new ways to be well in your mind, body, and spirit.